and welcome to the Mathly YouTube channel. The following video was recorded by one of our staff members live at one of our contests. I'm uh, accompanying Phoenix on this dragon ride, and I'm trying to figure out the distance I am having to travel in order to collect all the eggs or so, but every time I go, I need to search, go find the closest egg to where I'm currently at, and before I go collect it and then move on to the next one or so. So... Fortunately, this one looks easy to eyeball. I can even like have this little finger or so and like make this radii like thing to help it make it easier for me to keep track of this distance. So with some eyeballing, I will go to the first egg and then the second egg and then the third egg or so. But now I've reached a dilemma or so. Which one is the closest? I mean, on the map, they do look very similar or so. So in order to get the exact uh, exact uh, distance, I need to use the Pythagorean theorem. Fortunately, we have those horizontal and vertical things, so I can make use of that. So one of them, which is left three and up three, that's going to be uh, nine squared plus nine squared equals 18 and take the square root of that. And then for left four and then down one, that's uh, four squared plus one squared, 16 plus one equals square, uh, 17, take the square root. Well, 17 is less than 18, so we're actually going to go down uh, down to that bottom one for the next egg. And then, fortunately, we can see that we can uh, find the rest of the eggs. And now we need to actually find the distance or so. Remember that Pythagorean theorem I brought up earlier? Well, good thing I can actually use that to actually calculate distances or so. So I'm going to like figure out the distance of how long it is on this map or so. So first up is uh, 2 squared square plus two squared, uh, take the square root, that will be square root of eight. And then two squared plus one squared, square root of that, a square root of five. And then this one, uh, which is uh, nine squared plus four squared, uh, three squared plus four squared. And that is going to be a uh, square root of 25 or five, or just use the three, four, five triples. And then uh, once again, the 17, the square root of 17, Oh, this one's a straight line. Don't have to use Pythagorean theorem to get three. And then finally, one squared plus one squared, take the square root of that to get square root of two. And then we need to add all these up. But then we remember that we're doing this on a map and we care about the real area or so. And in order to figure out the actual distance, we're going to have to multiply uh, the sum of all those distances and then multiply and then multiply that by 10. And when we do so, we end up with an approximate answer to the nearest whole number of 200. All right, we've been through this journey and it's actually been like a really nice view seeing all of this stuff. And it's really nice on being able to look back on what we've gone through with all this stuff in this journey and being able to like do all this cool stuff on the fly or so. Hi everybody, this is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.